Good morning and welcome to this week's market review. You know, we're heading towards summer, the kids are getting out of school, and one of the things I like to think is always local. And what we have here are some local beans. You know, Dwelly Farms, which is a grower here, right in Brentwood, they turn around and they'll send out these different varieties of beans, and I always look for Dwelly Farms because I know how close they are. It's a family-grown operation. And what I have here is five different varieties, and I'm gonna start with the Italian bean. You know, Italian beans, when I see them, and they're always fresh, look for fresh beans. But when I see Italian beans, I know I can sell these because I love cooking them. You know, you snap off the ends on the Italian bean, give them a good wash, put them in a pot with maybe some, a can of stewed tomatoes, a little salt and pepper, a spoonful of garlic, maybe slice up some brown mushrooms, they make a great side dish. And you know, Italian beans, beans wouldn't be beans without a Blue Lake bean. Well, back when I was a kid and my father was doing the buying, we used to have Kentucky Wonder beans. That would be a flatter bean, but also had great flavor. Well, Kentucky Wonders you don't see anymore. You see the Blue Lake bean, and Blue Lake beans are really good. This is a very versatile bean. It can be steamed, it can be microwaved, this can be cut up and stir-fried. It's a delicious bean. Also make sure you show the customer the inside of the bean. Snap that bean, listen to it snap, look at the inside. There's not a big pea inside this bean. It's nice and small and tender. The next is the French bean, or a baby blue lake. Now this could be actually the true French bean, which would be an Eric Covert bean is what we'd call it but this could also be a baby blue lake bean. Either way, the flavor on the smaller bean is so much more intense. Just by the shape of this, I would say this would be a true French bean seed, the way it's mature but still so slender. Lastly, we move to two colorful beans, wax beans. Wax beans are delicious, and you get that sense when you touch them that they have a little bit of velvetiness to them. There's, the skin is soft. Again, such a beautiful bean to cook. It adds color to the dish, also the variety of beans. Now, as you go into the greener beans, you'll know that also the nutritional value. Let me say just a second. Very high on the green beans in vitamin B6, vitamin C, and a vitamin that we all need, vitamin K, for strong bones. Green beans, green leafy vegetables, that's where you find vitamin K. Wax beans, beautiful bean, cook it just like a blue lake. I wouldn't add any type of sauce to this. This would be something where I just want to possibly steam them, a little bit of salt and pepper, maybe a little light glaze of butter on top. And lastly, the shell beans. Shell beans, when you sell these, this bean is an amazing bean, but it's not a bean that you would cook whole. This actually, shell bean, is for the seed inside the pot. So this is the original pea that you would use in minestrone soup. And what's nice about this, because it's so fresh, you don't have to soak this pea to actually use it. You could turn around and utilize this pea fresh in cooking. When you purchase shell beans, once they start to age a little bit, the skin starts to dry, they get a little bit leathery. That's when you want to use the pea inside. They're also called cranberry beans. You know, it's important to have beans on the counter. Most of the time, we don't have these type of varieties, but when you have these varieties, when they're accessible, put them on your counter, because if they, you don't see them, if your clients, customers don't see them on your counter, they're gonna go to the farmer's markets. So let's bring a little farmer's market into the supermarkets. That's it for this week's market review. Look for us on Facebook, Shasta Produce. See you next time.